Hey everyone, in this episode I'm going to be teaching you how to add data to a dictionary. And I actually have three different ways of doing this, so you can do whatever you prefer. The first, and in my opinion the easiest, is to put the dictionary name, such as emails, and then inside of square brackets you put the key. So let's say we added another user in here. And then we use the assignment operator and we put the value. So we can put this person's email here and then we can print the entire dictionary and see that it is available right there. So to me, this seems like the easiest way to do it, but there are two different ways that you'll either prefer or you just might see when working with other people's code. So it's nice to know that they exist. So this is what that's gonna look like. We're gonna say emails.update and then pass in a dictionary, but just with whatever elements we wanna add. So this is ideal if we wanna add numerous elements. So what we could do is we can say Josh, and we're gonna give him j at email.com, and we can actually go in here and add another one. So we'll go with Ryan, and we'll just give him r at email.com. And then running this, we don't get any errors, and you can see we have Josh here and Ryan here. So that works. So if you're gonna add a bunch of elements to this, it might be easier to do it this way than to do it one element at a time using the previous example. Now there's another way you can do this and that is to get rid of the dictionary and put the key without any quotes or anything. So we'll say Josh and then assign it a value j at email.com or whatever the email might be. Running this and you can see it works fine and Josh is inserted in there as a string. So yeah, this is the third variation. So you'll probably see any of those three throughout your career. Thank you, and in the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to iterate through the keys of this dictionary. So stay tuned.